Welcome back geometry students. Uh, this is Mr. Martin. This is, video is going to cover a few more of the very important terms that you must learn in order to be successful in geometry. So let's get right down to it. Uh, the first one we have is collinear. So let's break this word up. We've got the word the part co which means together and linear which means line so collinear together on the same line so these are geometric figures that lie on the same line now most of the time we're going to be talking about points so if I draw a line here and I put uh, some points on it, A, B, C, I can say that A, B, and C are collinear. All right. So one of the things we'll talk about eventually is things you can assume and things you cannot assume in geometry. One of the things that we can assume is that a line is actually straight. So even though my line looks a little wavy, we're going to assume that it's straight. And the other thing that we can assume is that these points are actually right on that line. So if we see that these line, these points are on that line, we can say that they are collinear. And then similar to that, we would have coplanar. So again, we have co for together and planar standing for a plane and these are geometric figures that lie on the same plane okay so basically this is stuff on the same flat surface stuff on the same flat surface. All right, so if I drew in a plane here, remember we usually use some sort of a parallelogram to give it some uh, three-dimensional look. And then I could have some points on here, A, B, C, I could have a line on here, line DE. Okay, we could call this plane P. So all of these points and this line are on plane P, so they are coplanar. All right, next, congruent segments. So the symbol that we're going to use here for congruent. congruent this is a very important word this is like the equal of geometry okay congruent the symbol that we're going to use it's an equal sign but then we put this squiggle on the top all right so we're going to use this symbol all the time in geometry again it's basically the equal sign of geometry all right so when we're talking about two segments these are segments with the same length. They have the same measure. All right, so let's take a look at a picture here let's say we have a triangle and let's say this is triangle ABC and let's say that this side is three centimeters and this side is also three centimeters so I can say that segment AB there's my segment symbol remember that's very important we're never gonna have two letters without a symbol above it unless we're talking about the measures 
of the segments, but we'll talk about that as well, is congruent to segment AC. Again, there's my segment symbol. So since they're both 3 centimeters, since they have the same length, I can say that they are congruent. We're going to want to show that they're congruent in a picture because we're not always going to have the lengths of the segments in there. So what we use are called tick marks. So if I put the same mark on each segment, okay, you can put one little line or two little lines. I just put two little lines here. These are called tick marks and they're used to show congruency. So these two little marks are called tick marks. All right, and again, they're used to show congruency, and we will use them all the time, and we are going to expect you to use them as well. All right, next, let's talk about midpoint. This is a term maybe you've heard before. So... This is a point on a segment that is an equal distance from the endpoints. Okay, so really this is just a fancy way to say it's the point in the middle. All right, so let's draw a picture. So here's A and here's B and we'll put this point in here. We'll call it M for midpoint and I'm going to put some tick marks here. So again, I'm just going to use two little lines. You can use whatever you want. So I can see right in my picture here, because of these tick marks, these tick marks tell me that segment AM and segment MB are congruent, which means that M must be right in the middle and M is the midpoint. All right. And an idea that's similar to this is a bisector. So this is a figure. Okay, it could be a segment or it could be a ray or it could be a line that divides another figure into two congruent parts. Okay, notice I'm going to use symbols uh, whenever I can, can so I don't have to write out the whole word, so that'll save me some time. So remember, this is congruent. So a figure that divides another figure into two congruent parts. So let's say I have a segment here because we'll bisect segments a lot and we'll call that a B and I'm going to draw another line that goes right through the middle okay so here's line CD and I know it bisects it because I'm going to draw some tick marks here so since I have three tick marks to the left of the line and three tick marks to the right I know that these pieces are actually have so that's in the middle I'll label that point M. And I can see here that line CD bisects segment AB because it divides the segment into two congruent segments okay all right so that's what we've got uh, for this video again 
this video and the previous video, these are so important. I know there's a lot of vocabulary here and you may feel overwhelmed, but I promise you if you work hard, uh, you ask questions when you have them, you make sure you learn these uh, terms inside and out, it's going to uh, make for a much more successful school year. So if you had any questions, uh, make sure you write those down and ask them the next time you see me or your teacher, and we will see you in the next video.